Good morning. This is Dr. Tarek. Today I am going to talk about heart blocks. Some people complain of uh, dizziness, syncope, and shortness of breath. They may be suffering from heart blocks. So we need to investigate such people and we do so by doing EKG. To diagnose on EKG, we need to have some basic knowledge of EKG paper and ECG waves. We know on ECG paper we have large scale, this one hole is one large scale and in them we have small scales. You go horizontally, it gives us time, you go up and down, it gives us quantity of the electricity produced. And we know one small scale horizontally is equal to 0 0.04 second and one large square horizontally is equal to 0 0.04 into 5 scales because in large square there are 5 scales. So one large square is equal to 0.20 second point or 0.2 second or 5 small scales. We know there is electricity production in the heart and there is a uh, system of electricity produ production. There is a node, which is known as SA node present in the roof of the S right atrium and another node is present at the base of the right atrium that is known as AV node. They, and they are connected by these blue, they are fibers, internodal fibers. From here a bundle goes into the ventricle which is known as his bundle and his bundle divided into two branches. One go to, to the right ventricle which is known as right bundle branch, the other go to the left ventricle which is known as left ventricle uh, bundle branch, RBB and LBB. And finally they give rise to small tiny fibers which are known as Purkinje fibers. They are numerous and each and every cell of the heart is supplied with Purkinje fibers. So electricity produced as a node reach to each and every cell of the heart within flash of second. So when electricity produce, uh, reach to first atria, because it is near to SA node, atria contacts. When atria contacts, it gives us P wave. Then it is allowed to go down and then ventricle contract. When ventricle contract, it gives us QRS. And then ventricle relax. And that gives us T wave. So there is the P is ventricle uh, atrial contraction, QRS is ventricle contraction and T wave is ventricle relaxation. Now there is important interval which I want to tell you that is P R interval. This is from the beginning of the P to the beginning of the R and normally this is 2.2 second or equal to 5 small scares. 0.2 second or 5 small scares, this is normal P R interval. In hard blocks, it takes more time to pass from here. What is PR interval? Time taken from the SN node to AB node and then go into the ventricle. This is the time of PR interval. When there will be delay here, uh, definitely the time will increase and the PR interval will increase from 5. It will be more than 5. So th that is what are known as hard block. There are three types of hard blocks. Grade 1 grade 2 and grade 3. In grade 1 what happen is when uh, when electricity come from SA node to AB node there is some blockade here. There is some blockade here and the electricity has to take a detour. When it take a detour it takes more time to reach AV node. So that, that increases the PR interval and that is what happened in the grade 1 hard block. PR interval is increased. PR interval is increased but it is fixed. In every grade it will remain the same. Suppose it is 6. It will be 6 throughout. 6, 6, 6. If it is 7 it will remain fixed. 7, 7, 7. Every beat PR interval will be 7 but it will be more than 5 which is normal. So PR interval is increased and fixed and there is no heat drop. No beat will be dropped. No beat will be dropped but only PR interval will be increased and fixed. So that is known as grade 1 heart block. 
in grade 2 heart block there are two types one is number one is known as Wenke back Wenke back phenomena what happen in Wenke back phenomena a, a wave electric impulse come and is blocked at AV node so it take a detour and next come it take another detour and the third one come and it take another detour so every time PR interval is increasing and finally one is not allowed to go down so three or four will go and the fourth or fifth will not go but in the uh, in the meantime the detour will increase and PR interval will increase so in Wenke back phenomena PR interval is progressively increased it will be five in one second in two uh, six in two seven in third and then finally one QRS will be dropped progressive this Wenke back phenomena is progressive increase of PR interval like it will be 5 in the first PR interval will be 5 second PR interval will be 6 third PR interval will be 7 and then finally one beat will be dropped this is Wenke back phenomena also known as Morbid's Morbid's heart block Morbid 1 now we go to type 2 grade 2 grade 2 and type 2 what happened in grade 2 and type 2 PR interval is increase increase PR interval but it is fixed it is not progressively increased it is more than 5 it could be 5 5 5 it could be 6 6 6 it could be 7 7 7 PR interval is increased more than 5 more than normal but it is fixed it is not progressively increasing 6 7 8 or 5 6 7 no if it is 6 it will be 6 6 6 if it is 7 7 7 7 it will remain the same if it is 9 9 9 9 and finally one, one beat will be dropped so this is the uh, grade 2 type 3 heart block now the th third grade 3 in grade, grade 3 there is complete uh, blockade of the complete blockade of uh, the electricity at AV node no electricity is allowed to go down so atria will beat at its own and be ventricle will beat at its own and we know the inherited property of atria to produce electricity is 75 uh, impulses per minute and capacity of the ventricle is to produce electricity at the rate of 20 to 40 beats per minute so atria will have different uh, uh, speed and ventricle will have different speed 75 atria and ventricle 20 so they and there is no correlation between v and qs we know normally every p wave is followed by qrs and every q wave is preceded by p wave but in the third degree art block there will be no such relation between p and qr qrs you will see a immediately after p there is qrx or there is qrs just before the next beat or there is QRS in between. So there is no relation between P wave and T wave. This is total disc orientation. And uh, uh, this is known as third degree heart block. Atria beat at the speed of 75 and ventricle beat at the speed of 20 to 40. So summarize once again in gear 1, PR interval will be increased but fixed. 5, 5, 5. If it is 6, 6, 6, 6, there is no beat drop. So PR interval is increased but fixed and no beat will be dropped. In grade 2 type 1, which is also known as Ranky back or Morbid Swan, there will be a prolonged PR interval and that will be fixed. It will not be 5, 6, 7 or 7, 8, 9 or 8, 9, 10. It, if it is 7, it will be 7, 7 and 7. If it is 8, it will be 8, 8 and 8 and finally one bead will be dropped. This is type 2, grade 2, type 2 or also known as morbid 2 heart block. Now the third is uh, uh, complete heart block or grade 3 heart block. Though electricity is allowed to pass the AV node, so atria will beat at its own and ventricle will beat its and at its own total disc uh, orientation there is no relation between p wave and qrs p wave have 75 per minute speed and ventricle will have qrs will have 20 to 40 
so that this is all all about heart blocks now a little bit about the reasons the causes of the uh, heart block will be cardiomyopathy or it could be structural abnormality abnormality it could be increased vagal tone or it could could be uh, medicine like uh, calcium channel blockers or beta blockers or digoxin majority of the heart blocks they are benign but some of them are dangerous and need to be treated so thank you very much